Welcome. Here we have a bot that will purchase an item from Amazon for you. It won't work with other sites at the moment. I spent the last eight hours setting this bot up to purchase an item automatically from a list of items that I've specified. Here you can see some of the code that went into setting it up. I wanted to be able to go through a list of products on Amazon and try to automatically purchase those items if they're in stock. The app right now will loop over a list. It also allows for manual entry. If a product becomes available and you notice, say you are watching on a stock drop site like ours, startgpumining.com or stock drops or any of the other sites, you see a link for a product on Amazon that's just become available. You can enter it into the application and the next load will be that product. It will attempt to purchase that product. I've got a demonstration for that right here. As you can see, the application is looping through the products. I inserted a link. The next product will be the product that I wanted to see if it was in stock and try to buy. It is in stock. Now you can see the application proceeding through the checkout. This did not work uh, with Selenium as it should. You couldn't just grab a button item and click it. Uh, it required some changes and some custom coding. But in the end, I wrangled it into submission and got it to work. My item was purchased successfully. This has the potential to work with the start GPU mining site. There are a few concerns that I have about the application at this point in time. I'm worried that there could be the possibility to spend too much money. We don't want that to happen. Another concern is using Selenium. It is slow. I don't believe that we're purchasing fast enough to beat some of the Python bots out there. They are going to be extremely fast. Right now the application isn't very flexible. We can't easily make changes. And last but not least, we are using Selenium, which requires a GUI. We do not want to do that in the long run. My thoughts are we will end up with a simple client, either Python or Java or C that will grab the URL in the text form, parse it, and never have a GUI element at all. More to come. Uh, like I said, this was a quick example. Uh, you could see that I was able to successfully load the product. You could see that I was able to successfully purchase the product while the application was uh, looping through sites and automatically seeing if they were in stock. Uh, wish me luck. I'm going to leave it running tonight. Hopefully I don't max out my credit card.